Hey everyone, welcome back to the CAF Commons Podcast, where we get down to the nitty-gritty aspects of student life. New main episodes come out every other Monday, and new subseries episodes come out on the Wednesdays in between. Make sure to follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to drop a follow on our Instagram at CAF Commons Podcast. Enjoy! Hey everyone, welcome to our Cafeteria Conversation sub-series. So this segment will come out every other Wednesday when our regular Monday episodes don't air. This week is an episode on travel, and today's hosts are Namin, Maxwell, and me, Emma. Hi guys. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, (laughs) I thought we could start off this because when we talk about traveling, I know a lot of us have really funny stories, so I was wondering if you guys have anything to share with the audience? Um, about that. <laughs> Max, if you want to go first, you can. I- I've got a lot. <laughs> um, no, you can go ahead. I got to think first. I got to put it all together in my head before I can actually put it into words for people to listen to. Dude, okay. Most of my funny stories um, revolve around my dad. Um, <laughs> my dad is fun to travel with. This say the most um um my dad is you know okay i think there's there's, there's, there's two different travelers you know there's like the ones who's like that really really heavy schedules like the like super strict and then the ones who are really like laid back and it's like oh well i'm chilling let's, let's do whatever we want let's go with the flow my dad is both at the worst times possible so what i mean by that is we're on, we're on a cruise, right? Um, he'll make us wake up at like 6, 7 a.m. Um, no, no, wait, before we even get on the cruise. We're the, la- we're the last family to get on the cruise. No, 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 we're on fine. But my dad's the last person to get on the ship. <laughs> like, we're on. But my dad has to, my dad's like dropped us off, gone to the shop to get like three crates of water, and then comes back. Why? I don't know why, there's water on the ship, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 and then when we're on the ship, right? We we'll wake up at seven a.m. We gotta go. On, we gotta go. We're stopping at Mexico, right? We gotta go scuba diving. We gotta go test out surfing. We gotta try out all these random stuff. All right, and we'll be the last. Per- and then we're like, when then we're like, we'll be like two hours away from the boat in some random like hut in the middle of nowhere, and we're just and then. Like from a distance, you hear like the the blowhorn go off, no. saying that <laughs> the cruise is gonna leave, <laughs> and we're like, we are like two hours away, dude. And oh, dude, and then we'll like we'll be the last. I remember vividly, uh, we were like my dad and I were the last people on the ship. Like they, we hopped in and they closed the doors, and we. It was the scariest thing ever, dude. Oh, oh God, it's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, the running when you're like late. I remember we went to Europe and I had a friend and we went to a restaurant. And like during the Europe trip, for it's a school trip. So like you have to be on the bus at a certain time or they th- threaten to leave you. So we we went to a restaurant for lunch and I knew we were going to be on the road for another two hours. So I went to use the bathroom and I got locked in <laughs> and I left my backpack with someone else. So I didn't have my phone with me and also no one else had data. So I couldn't even call for help. So I kind of just banged on the door for a couple minutes, and then eventually the friend that was with me was like, where are you? So he came in, he knocked on the door, he's like, are you okay? I was like, I'm locked in. So he had to go like get one of the waiters to come help me, and then we had to run across the town to get back to the bus. How'd you get locked in? I don't know, like, I just, the door got stuck. Yeah, that was scary. (laughs) <laughs> relatable <laughs> you guys what, okay no, I mean, do you guys prefer like vacations where you go and it's more like scheduled or do you mm-hmm. prefer when it's more spontaneous and like on a whim let's go out and do this like you decide the day of because i feel like there's good and bad to both of them yeah i think it depends on who i'm with and where i am yeah um, but i think i do prefer schedules i think schedules are cool but then again, it depends on where I am. If I'm like, if I'm if a school trip, then hundred percent schedules are good. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> like like schedules are good. Um, if I'm a trip with like my my whole family, then schedules are also good. But if I'm like on a trip 
they're just like my like parents and sister, for example, and we're gone to some like tropical area. Well, like, even if we're going to my cousin's house in in America, I, I would much rather just like do my own thing. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like especially at our age, it just kind of becomes a thing where it's like I, I I'm trying to relax, you know. Like it's school has been very stressful. I just want to use this as to, as to relax and not stress out, dude. I hate bringing this back to my dad again, <laughs> but this guy <laughs> puts so much stress. <laughs> Bro, um, another random story. I went to Puerto Rico once, um, and I almost started crying because uh, how stressed I was. I was, <laughs> I was, no, I don't know what grade I was in. I was in, like, I was, like, this one I have my iPad mini still as my main device. Um, <laughs> this is, like, so elementary school, I think. Um, we were in downtown, um, and my dad just went off the grid for th- three hours. <laughs> I was remember, I remember it was downtown. I was like, I was like, ask my mom, where's dad? Where's dad? I'm like, started to cry. I thought he got like kidnapped or something. Like, <laughs> like, and then this guy was just finding parking, finding parking like four three hours, hours away. Yeah, dude, because he parked <laughs> the farthest possible way because he get free parking. Dude, <laughs> yo, dad's in free parking. You gotta save your money. So you gotta funny. save your money, bro. Dude, pay twenty dollars and save your child a heart attack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I have a funny I story like that too. I think my dad did the similar thing. So last year in March, right before um, COVID and everything, uh, I talked about this in our in the other rant episode with Matthew. How I was on vacation and we were pretty much on a cruise while like. COVID was like <laughs> spreading rapidly in Canada and the United States. So we're in like the Caribbean on a boat. And then we come back and the plan was originally to stay for another week in Florida and then go back. But, um, you know, all the COVID stuff happened. So we're just, sta- we we're going to stay one night and then start driving back. My dad like disappears for like three hours and we're in, oh, what's the place called? I don't even remember what it's called. Um, daytona i think it was so we're in daytona in our hotel my dad just like disappeared he took the rental car this guy comes back with like six bags of freaking like canned soup and canned food and we're like dude what <laughs> why do you need all of this he's like dude you see the on the news everyone's like getting the toilet paper and all the food for no. like, this covid stuff we gotta get some big bag. so we because we like we drove all the way from florida to canada to our home and brought back like all of these like american brand kit so it's not like your campbell's your freaking chunky your tim hortons can soup it's like these random brands that no one's heard of probably like the sodium levels are insane i don't even touch them i think we definitely still have some in our basement over a year dude yeah but like you know you know if it ever gets worse and becomes a zombie apocalypse then i'm good living in my house for even longer with the american sodium soup (laughs) so, <laughs> salt water mm, yummy. Wait, oh, what, what was your guys like favorite vacation that you've ever gone on oh that's a very good question okay oh oh i've been on a good chunk of vacations actually i'm very lucky to be able to go um my favorite Oh, I got one. Yeah, when I mean, you go first. Okay. Um, we went to a wedding in Vegas, but we went to LA uh, for a couple of days first, and then wow. Vegas. And I think I really liked it because I think that was my first trip with just my mom, dad, and my brother. Mm-hmm. So it was really relaxing. It was one of those mm-hmm. trips that it's scheduled, but like the day of. So it's like we wake up yeah. and we're like, oh, we can hit these. I think that's what I mean by like I like schedule. I don't like when we have to plan like a five day itinerary. Like I guess that's yeah, necessary. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> like if you hit a lot of tourist attractions, you're like. You don't want to get home and think, oh, I missed something, right? But, like, mm-hmm. for those, it's kind of like, oh, on this day, we'll walk down the strip and we'll see some, like, I don't know. Oh. The mall. I don't know. It was, <laughs> but, yeah, it was really relaxing, but also not stressful in the way it's like, oh, we should be doing this, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then, on like, that I note, I think one of my, this is, like, I'll come back to my favorite place. But, like, like one of my favorite things about going on trips are, like, dressing up for like formalish nights like i went on a cruise once right or i went on two cruises right and they had like those formal nights on cruises favorite thing i love dressing up in like a hotel room if you i feel so fancy i feel so cool i also love airports 
I love airports so much. Yeah, I'll like go with like, a pillow so around my fun. neck. I've got my earbuds in. I just like listen to music. I feel so swag, dude. I feel like I don't know. I just feel so cool. And then going to a hotel. Though? Pardon me. Do you ever feel embarrassed? Like you're like really underdressed. I'm in like no, I have no clothes. I'm holding like a teddy bear, and then this whole like... rugby team is next to us in customs. Bro, I have like sweatpants on. I have like a windbreaker on. I feel so cool, dude. I feel like okay. all right. This is business casual. No, it's not. Um... <laughs> Are you trying to impress him? No, no one. The, the rugby I'm, team I'm, next to us in it just, it just, You feel so cool. Like I, Anyway, my favorite place that I went. Um, I don't know why. The past, like, every time I go somewhere tropical or cool, um, I don't know. I always seem to, like, I don't know. Um, I guess one of my favorite places, probably, probably Italy and Greece. Um, great summer of grade 10. Um, Though it was, like, tough, like, everything, like, like, personal issues were tough, I think as a place, that was, oh my god, one of the most beautiful places I went. I went to Pompeii. Um, Pompeii was really cool, because I'm um, a Latin in classics nerd, as you can see by my hoodie. Um, and you're Latin. Martin, Martin, <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, uh, school classics team. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so, like, I studied Roman life, and, like, I knew everything I was going I saw this in the book. Um, we climbed Mount Vesuvius. The food there is amazing. Um, oh yeah, question for you guys: When you guys like like go on a trip, what is like one of your favorite things to like do? You guys like try food? Like when you're like, going on a trip, you're on like a plane or you're like driving down. What are you thinking of first? Like the food, the scenery, um, like the activities, and like the beaches, for example. What do you guys? What, what's like the first thing on your your hit list when you get to when you get somewhere? For me, it depends on what kind of trip it is. Fair. Because like you say, like going somewhere like in the states is like more like exploring, or like somewhere in Europe is more like exploring and learning about the different cultures in the city. But then if you go to like the Caribbean, it's more like also exploring and learning. But then it's like just relax and sunbathe and enjoy the like free no like distractions like you're so disconnected and you're more just like relaxing i don't know i think um for me i really like the like the exploring and finding new things because it's like like going to like say like toronto is not the same because it's (laughs) like oh i've seen this stuff before and it's kind of just like it's a place you go and it's like close to us right but like when you're going like other cities um my favorite trip i've been on was probably like paris because there's so much and like it's so different but it's also like a modern city um for me honestly i really like public transportation (laughs) um (laughs) yeah like the subways i i really like going on different subways like japan hong kong taiwan new york like i just some of them are really dirty but some of them are really nice so it's like it's cool to compare (laughs) I remember I was on on the same trip, but like the uh, Italy trip I was talking about. <clears throat> I was on a train to Pompeii, um, and none of us had cellular data, right? Because we're in, we're in, we're in Europe. Um, so what we did was we were like, all right, let's think of a plan. All right, so we spent like t- 20 euros and got this like this card that we put in my phone. Uh, okay. it like a SIM card, SD card. I don't know which one. Yeah. Uh, sim yeah not sd yeah, SD's first sim. Uh, so you put the sim card in your phone and it had like 20 gigabytes of data and i was like okay so the plan was you put it in my phone i hotspot everyone right but i think the company was smart enough to like stop like not allow hotspot so i had 20 gigabytes to myself so it was, <laughs> I, I tried spending it all and like the 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 um, train ride there amazing train by the way very very fast and fun um <laughs> but like i remember just like watching a bunch of like vsauce <laughs> I I like, <laughs> no i tried so hard to use 20 gigabytes i used like i used like two gigabytes in total I, like um yeah i watched a bunch of vsauce on the train right there um yeah that, that was nice. fun that was fun Wait, you were saying like, what do you pay attention to most in during your trip? So, Vsauce. No, oh, no, no. Um, for me, it's probably food. I really like, like, like 
when I go to America, because my cousins live there, so I go there often. Um, oh man, there's always different types of food to try. Like last time I went, I had like steak and shake three times, three days in a row, and like they have like it's basically just milkshakes. I had like these giant milkshake threes in a row, and I came back with like three massive pimples on my face. Um, uh, <laughs> souvenir. Um, they have like these like random things, like um, like Waffle House. Waffle House is so good. I haven't been. It's so good. I think it's like m- mid Midwest. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's like somewhere in the middle of U.S. Um, what else is cool? I don't know. Uh, Italy has good gelato. Pardon me? Arby's. I've never tried Arby's. Arby's is in Canada, though. Wait, are you serious? You haven't had an Arby's in Canada? No. What's and then for a little like- bit, there was like Chick-fil-A was, wasn't in Canada for a little bit. Yeah, there was, it was only in America. America. I still haven't tried Canadian Chick-fil-A. Arby's is in Canada? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> I mean, never mind. <laughs> there, I don't think there's one close to us, but there's definitely Arby's in Canada because I've had it before. In Canada. Mm-hmm. Have you guys had any like l- r- like memorable like bad food experiences on a trip? Yes, I think a stomach bug went around the class when oh. we went to Florence, and I don't know. There's like mush. It was like spinach, and it was fine. I ate it all. The other two people that ate it all, I'm pretty sure they had, like, bad stomach problems. I think I had stomach problems during the Europe trip near the end. So, oh. I blame it on the spinach, or oh, whatever dude. that was. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure there was, like, this one trip where I just was so sick. Oh, I, that's, that's, like, the worst feeling ever, dude. Yeah. Like, being sick on a trip, it's so sad. Because, like, your whole family's out doing fun stuff, and you're just lying in bed. In the middle of like some random place where you want to be spending time in, that that's tough. That is tough, dude. I don't know. I think food during travel. I am a little skeptical because I don't really know what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. So like, I don't want to be walking around and then getting a stomachache because then you can't walk and then and then what? Have, you, have either want- of you been to Cuba? No, no. I want to. Right. Go. You know how Cuba's like like doesn't do any like trading with the u.s oh, okay. i'm sure, sure heard that, so yeah. pretty much most of like what they're um what they like make is like from cuba so some of their stuff is like super different so like their butter tastes like nothing like like what we think is like normal butter it's like more like just um like it's it's like if someone was like hey i'm making butter and it's like at home it tastes like that. It doesn't really taste like normal butter. It just tastes weird. It tasted weird to me. And then, um, <laughs> like certain things like Coca Cola, they don't have Coca Cola, so they have like their their own brands of stuff. But it's clearly <laughs> just like it's like off brand, but even more off brand than off brand. <laughs> it doesn't taste like it. But it, yeah, it is. I don't know. We went to a resort in Cuba, and the food was it was all right. I guess. <laughs> I, I, I want. I feel like a lot of this episode, whatever I say, is gonna sound like super like privileged, like oh you're still oh, yeah, getting no, to go no, to places. Yeah. But it's like I under like I'm still grateful and enjoyed the trip that I went on. It's just like small things that we're yeah. noticing. So yeah. Plenty. What were you gonna oh, ask, Louis? Um, yeah. Uh, I was gonna change the topic. Am I gonna say something about something oh, else? Um, I was gonna talk about the cheese from Paris. Oh, talk about the um, cheese from Paris. That was my first time staying in an Airbnb. So it's someone else's house or like place so they left it with us and she was like she left a block of cheese in her fridge and she's like oh you're welcome to help yourself to it and then she left but every time we opened up the fridge the entire apartment would smell like that cheese and it was like it was like fart like and i think i was maybe nine or ten at the time so my aunts that i was with thought it was funny to open the fridge and go oh my god i farted (laughs) <laughs> so, I didn't like it. It's kind of funny. I didn't like it when they opened the fridge. It smells so bad. But, you know what cheese it was? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't want to find out. Like it's just like, all really. Yo, good. It's still there. You gotta try. I doubt it. it. Maybe, maybe it's like durian and it tastes like actually really good. Does durian taste <laughs> good? Supposedly, I haven't tried it just because I, friend, I have a very weak stomach. But yeah, my friend in Singapore says you're not allowed to bring durian on public transit. Like, there's a sign that? that says no durian allowed. There's probably no ventilation in there, right? Eh? Yeah. Or not stinky. much. 
Uh, is there like any local trips that you and your family take when like family from a different area comes? Like, for example, I've got family in India, right? And before COVID, when they would all come, every single time, no matter how many times they've already been, we would have to go to Niagara Falls. Oh, and that <laughs> Niagara Falls trip was the bane of my existence, dude. Let me tell you why. <sighs> okay. So, <laughs> all right. First of all, Niagara Falls, beautiful place. Love it. I've been there 80 times probably, but beautiful place. Um, so we have our little, we have our van, right? And we have my sister and I in the back, okay? My grandparents in the middle with the family member in question, you know, the, the, the one from, from, from somewhere else, right? And my parents in the front. Cool. My sister and I had never got along on these, on these trips because we always be like fighting for like territory. Like I don't want to put my legs up. She don't want to put her legs up. Like she'd get really mad at me and she'd scream that I'd get really mad at her. It's terrible, dude. And then after that, not only that, our car is filled with homemade food. Like, like I love homemade food. Don't get me wrong. Homemade food's great and all, but like the, we do the most to save as most money as possible on these trips. And it's like... We'll park, like, five kilometers away from the falls. Like, <laughs> have to, like, journey. Like, you know, like, journey to the edge of the falls? No, it's a journey to the falls, dude. Like, it's... <laughs> like, it's we'll, we'll, we take, like, a hike towards the fall, all right? And we picnic there, eat our food. I'm just... I want to do stuff. I want to go to Clifton Hill. I want to go on these things. And then, and then like, at the end, we'll, have, we'll get these cool... We'll get, like, the passes. We'll have, like, five things. Get, like, one haunted house trip. You get one... Ferris thing, and you will do that, and then and then I'll be able to go on like two of them, and then we'll have to drive home. Oh, <laughs> dude, and it happens every time, rinse and repeat every single time, dude. Every time, whether my cousin comes, even bro, even if they've already been to Niagara Falls, like there's no point in going back. We have to for some reason. It's like tradition, and I hate it. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Like it's it's, it's great. But spare me the pain, dude. Why do I- like the fall stuff, do you go on like the Maid of the Mist and everything? I, like sometimes, like really? like like sometimes we go on the Maid of the Mist. Sometimes we literally just go there, take four photos, and dip. Like it's like like we go there, take a Facebook Facebook profile picture worthy photo, and then leave. Like t- yeah, every I. Yeah, I feel like it's a normal thing if you if your family does decide to travel, going to Niagara Falls is like a. Full destination. <laughs> yeah. Every time I go to the falls, I somehow there's like those weird binocular things. Every time without right. fail, I go up to them thinking they're gonna work and they never do. <laughs> like I always forget. You, you try. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they never work. You're like you're supposed to pay, but I don't know why I always forget you're supposed to pay. So I mean, maybe one day next time you go there, I'm calling it. You're gonna look out. Someone's gonna have left some extra time from their quarter. It happened put to in. me. Okay. Wait, did? Right, can we go? Can we go to Niagara Falls? Let's take Nomin. That's bro, bro, I lucked out. We'll see. I lucked out and I was able to like look for like five seconds. No way. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. It wasn't cool. Bro, it was so anticlimactic. Literally, it like, zoomed in like blue. Like, wow, this is great. Um, <laughs> no, Niagara Falls is the opposite for me, honestly, because um, pretty much how my family works is like when we were younger, we would find one destination and then every break or every like significant holiday we'd go there so every like winter break as kids we'd go to niagara falls with like our, these two other families that were our family friends and like what we do is like like i i, I get clifton hill stuff is fun but you do it once so you kind of get bored like kinda. like um what's even there the wax museum is like okay well, well, like the Ripley, hey what's yeah, up the and, then, <laughs> and then ripley's and then like all the stores with the candy and mm. um Oh, facts. Yeah. There's like, what's the the 4D theater? Have you guys done the oh, 4D the theater? the SpongeBob one. The SpongeBob. I didn't do the SpongeBob. I did the oh. one that was like snowboarding. Oh, I didn't do that one. I did so this they one. like they like put mist at you for snow and everything. It's kind of fun. My dad like freaking broke his back because <laughs> he said it would hurt so much after. But yeah, that stuff got kind of boring. Like after you do a while. So what we do is we just like go to the go to the, stay in like a one of those like water park hotels like not great wolf lodge but the ones that are just outside of the main area oh, of niagara yeah, falls yeah, yeah. with the so big billboards still, outside right yeah 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 so they're yeah. like big t- 
tourist area, <laughs> but it's not like the name brand ones. So you go there, and I feel like that was like perfect because it's like the parents were just like chilling,、mm-hmm. and then the kids could like go around the hotel and do it. And it felt like you, it felt like you had so much like control when you're a kid. You're like, or not control, but you have freedom for once because it's it's not like really a schedule, but there are times you have to remember, and then you can like go around the hotel with the other people because you know it's like it's not it's not too big, it's pretty small, and your family members are around, and it's fun. And I remember there was always this. There, we would always go back to the same hotel, and there was always this magic show this, that this guy did that was so funny. We'd always、Aww. go to the magic show as kids. Yeah, so my memories of Niagara Falls are a bit different. That's so sweet, dude. I wish I went to one of those hotels every time. <laughs> I would just leave, and it'd be like, it'd be like, like eleven p.m., and I'm just sad in the back of the car, dude. I'm just like, because like when I was a kid, I couldn't sleep in the car. I just couldn't. So I was just in the back of the car, just like with my iPad, just like. My head up and like contemplating life,、um, but not,、nah, dude. Those are like the best moments. Like every time we used to go to hotels with my cousins,、um, there'd be like that one room with all the parents chilling in. You know, like they have some drinks or watching TV and stuff like that. And, like they're all talking, and the other like two rooms that、like, the kids are just like chilling and like. Oh, doing you know the conjoined rooms.、Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best experience. <laughs> Top tier rooms. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. That's crazy. And then, like you'd like, your parents would, like order pizza or like wings or something, and like you just have like this giant feast, and you、mm-hmm. s- split rooms. Oh, wow, fun times! I I really wish I went to Great Wolf Lodge. Like all I've been to Great Wolf Lodge. Ever, everyone tells about how great 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 Wolf Lodge is as a kid. I'm like, yeah, dude, I spent、yeah. four hours at Niagara Falls. Two of two of the hours was looking for parking. <laughs> It's good, like if you're under the age of twelve. Yeah, because、yeah. I, I think I remember, like, as a kid, I was like, "Yo, this place is like legendary." They ha- they had like, um, I mean, you know, the rooms where it's like it's a one room, but then the kid's bed is like separate, and then it's like the bunk bed. I had the room where it was like you go upstairs and there's another room. Oh, huh? you're fancy. Okay, okay. I did not have that. One. <laughs> we, were, we went with like four families, and we all were like trying to split up the room. So it was like one bed downstairs, another one that was like a pullout couch, and then you go upstairs, and there was another bed. Wow. But there'd be like three families in one room. Oh, okay. Cool. That, so, that makes it a little bit better for us. <laughs> but but yeah, no, like all of like the themed stuff and like the the decorations, like they're so corny now. But as a kid, you're like, oh my goodness, this place is so exciting, it's so cool. And then and then the activities and like they do pretty good stuff for like for kids there to keep kids busy, so the parents can just like do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's so many hotels where like there's a big candy place, and they give you like a bag, and you just fill it with candy. Really? They had that at Great Wolf Lodge. I've seen it in other places. I can't remember yeah, where. Maybe I was. It was censored. But... I, I I was not. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs>、um, oh. As much as that, yeah. Oh, I was gonna talk about like post trip. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. If you got any, I was gonna say as much as I as much as I dog on 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 how how annoying the trips were. I appreciate everyone.、Uh, mm-hmm. I'm very grateful for the trips that have gone on. Even though my dad gives me a hard time every time. <laughs> anyway, continue, Emma. Um, do you guys ever go on like long trips, and when you come home, and your house is like, oh, you have to like, I don't know, where in your house again? <laughs> a different type of fresh. Yeah, it、especially, just feels weird. Especially、yeah. when you come at night, right? Like, like,、mm-hmm. like you're like pulling into the the roads that feel familiar. Like I saw this, I saw this one like TikTok about like how. When you're a kid, right, and you're like sleeping, and then you feel the car going the turns, and like you wake up again because you know you're near the home because like that the like specific turns. I'm like,、oh, bro, that hits because it's like you you know your home, like you can like sense like you're on this street, and, like you like see like oh wait that's like that like building that I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home, and you get and it's home, like all、man. just the headlight through the headlights, seeing like the specific、exactly. facts, and it's like it's like when you're when I was younger. I just like fake sleep, and my parents would bring me inside.、Um, <laughs> bro, I was a goon.、Um, <laughs> um, but like now, it's now I have to bring in the freaking luggage. But when I was younger, I didn't have to. Like I'd walk in and be like, "Wow, this is my home," and it feels so cool. And you'd walk to your room, and you just like lie in bed. Oh God, 
once um i forgot my retainer on a like a two-week trip um and I remember the airport we were contemplating. Do we go back and get my retainer? My dad was like, I'll go back and get it. I'm like, no, dad, you're not going back and get our airport in 30 minutes. Um, so I came home and I put my retainer in and like I could feel my teeth about to like fall out. Oh, like, like tectonic plates. Uh, mm, bring your retainer on your trips. Yes. Wait, do you guys, are, like the fake sleeping thing is, I'm not the only one that did that, right? Like you did I'm, it. I would like, genuinely be like, sleeping. Of course, oh. you. <laughs> yeah, no. When I was a kid, I couldn't fall asleep in cars properly. Me too. Me too. Like now, I can do it like this. Like whenever I'm in a yeah. car, it'll just like fall asleep if we're, like we're not talking or like music playing or something, because I can just have no like motivation to do anything else. <laughs> but but as a kid, I was like, oh my goodness, there's so much I can do. I can play my DSI and I can like read the <gasps> book or whatever. Thanks. But but like I always have memories of like. So I have family that lives in Ottawa, so we'd always drive out there like five hours and then come back five hours and then we'd normally leave like at night so that we'd get back and it's like oh we're like sleeping and we get as much time as possible to spend with them. So I specifically remember it's exactly like this. Okay, so you, like it you're sleeping, and then you wake up and you realize that you're at the point where you're like, like say like ten, five ten minutes away from your house. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like. You're like, you're like, shoot. <laughs> Pretending to sleep. So my, what my dad would do is like, he would, um, he he wouldn't like wake us up. He'd just like carry us in. So then, yeah, so yeah. that is, so that is the feeling of like, you're sitting in your chair, like really differently. And then you're just like, come on, I'm asleep. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like the feeling when you, when he walks over and picks you up and starts carrying you inside, so you're like, yes, I've done it, I've done it, I've succeeded, I, 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 have, I have nothing left to lose in life, I've done it, I've faked it, I'm an actor, give me an award right now. And it's so funny because it's like, it's just such little things that... <laughs> <laughs> like like my dad put me like he's like hold me so my head was like over here like so like my head was like on or over his shoulder and yeah, facing backward yeah. and then my eyes would open then and be like yes <laughs> I've made it <laughs> the home stretch yeah, we're no, back actually sleep so at any time like they fully wake me up I wake up so they can tell I can't go back to sleep after that <laughs> so the, the it's back. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah guys... sorry go ahead oh um like the long trips i used to go to hong kong for like three weeks like i just um during the march break so that i'd be missing two weeks of school so every time like yeah. later on it was always like normal trip but i remember when i was little there was a park and um okay this is a really random story it has no connection to anything we've talked about but i just wanted to share it there was like a little blonde girl at the park and she had these big blue eyes and i remember i just screamed at her the entire time <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> i don't know i got to the park i can't remember if we played together or not but then i just started screaming at her like high-pitched mariah carey whistle notes like i used to scream like this and i go I don't want to do it, but like I used to just scream. <laughs> do, it, do, it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You have to give us a sample. Can I do it? Okay. Yeah. It's like 11 p.m. I go like, <laughs> but like louder. That's, <laughs> that's not even <laughs> screaming. That's not no, even screaming. It was louder than that. Louder than that. <laughs> what like, is? I don't know. Just this random white girl in Hong Kong at the park, and then this Chinese girl comes up to you and starts yelling at you. That's yeah, like I just for that. That's for the only reason. Wait, boy. So, I don't know. <laughs> no, I should have been a least child. I really do think I should have been a least child because my mom used to be really afraid of me. Least you know, child? Like, you know, what? You know, kids who have like the little leashes. <laughs> the backpack leashes. Yeah. Wait, like, is that like a term? A least, a least. Uh, I can't speak. Oh my god, a least child. Is that yeah, like things people call? Like, cause kids just run off, right? And like, if they don't hold your hand, they just go. So you have the leash on them. They can only go so far. Yeah, no, I understand like the concept of having them, but is that what people call kids? <laughs> <laughs> leash child. Are you a leash child? No. Okay. I, I was okay. I'm a second child, so it was like my my bro They brought my brother's four years older than me, so like I was more independent. I would say when once I got mm. to like my own age, because it's like my brother. And then it was me, and they were like, oh, look, he's here now. And then two years later, my sister. So then I was just like, all right, I just got to do my own thing now. So okay. I, I was not, I, I don't think I was uh, worthy of a leash or a harness. Mm. That would mean that's, <laughs> uh, that's a harness child. 
<laughs> I think le- le- leash leash kind of has a weird uh negative <laughs> okay. but it's it's like important on trips i never had it because i would either be in the stroller or someone would carry me but like there was always the fear that i'd run off into crowds because we'd be like disney world and there'd be photo there's photos of me not holding someone's hand and that's scary because what if i just took off bro you guys ever gotten lost on vacation bro freaking disney world dude i was so scared i was okay it was 2012 let me tell you all right i have oh so many memories from that trip i have a journal which i wrote it <laughs> but i got i got so scared because once i got lost i got lost i think it was an epcot or something oh I, I, a circle thing that was epcot was the lamest thing as a kid yeah. dude like what? that was like epcot was so lame are you I kidding you didn't epcot? like it well, like, as a kid, I hated it, dude. It was you like, didn't, you it was didn't so like the, boring. Wait, did you go like before they had all of, like the different like small versions of countries area? I don't know. All I saw was the big golf ball, and like it was like, here's how you look like when you're eighty. I don't care. Like, <laughs> like take me to like Animal Kingdom. Honestly, like, like oh Animal God. Kingdom was, cool. was so cool. But, yeah, take me to some place cool, dude. Yeah. But I got I got lost there. It was the worst. Getting lost as yeah, a kid was see? the most terrifying thing ever. These children. Okay, yeah, but I, wasn't, I wasn't a leash child. Like I was like did, a good kid. I just got lost. How did you get lost? <laughs> this is a busy place, dude. I just, yeah. I, I just, I probably just got lost in the crowd somehow. It wasn't my parents' fault. Probably it's probably my fault. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Man, I have not gotten lost yet, so that's Ooh, a good track good record. Let's go, Maxwell. Um, I still have a lot I've of time, lost. but Maxwell's not a leash kid. Yeah, he's not a leash kid. Um, I've gotten lost, but older. Like, I was what? not a kid when I got lost, and I was in a group. Like, we were in Venice, and we were- I don't know, it was just like a square, I guess. And we got really lost, we didn't know how to get back to the bus, so we just kind of ran around until we found the bus again. So, that was scary. Because it wasn't- it wasn't the prospect of getting lost, it was the teachers. Like, I was afraid mm-hmm. of getting scolded at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is- Oh wait, I have one oh I had one thing I wanted to say it was really unrelated. But I what? totally forgot. Go ahead, like the screaming child. No, I totally forgot. Oh. It's just so sad. No, no, it was so good. I'll get back It'll to it later. Back. It'll, come It'll come back. If you guys could go anywhere on a trip, where would it be? And who would you like to go with slash would you want it to be scheduled or not scheduled? Hmm. I want to. Okay, you don't have to answer who, but like, would you want it to be like scheduled or not scheduled? Just trying to get at. Like, I want to go to. I want to go to Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I, was I think that. Japan's a very, very beautiful place. Um, I like the scenery a lot. And I want. I want to learn a lot about more, more about Japan. I think. I would, but if if I was to go to Japan, I would want to make it more scheduled. I think. I think that'd be kind of cool. Just to like. Because I want to, like, go hiking and stuff. I want to do that, like, sunset. I want to I also go to, like, some places in the sunrise. I want to make that very, very scheduled. What about you guys? You guys can go any place in this world. Where would uh, you guys go? I need a redemption for Paris. Because when <laughs> I went, I went for, like, a weekend. And we didn't go near the... Like, we were going to go to the Eiffel Tower, but then we had a dinner reservation. So... We got near it, took a photo with it, and then left. So I never actually <laughs> been to the Eiffel Tower. Um, and because I was with my aunts, they did a lot of shopping. And then it was I was at the age where I got really hangry. Like, if I got hungry, I got super grumpy. And I was, like, the worst thing to be around. So, yeah. I don't know. Like, shopping when you're, like, 10 in a foreign country is not that fun. Yeah. I just wanted to eat the macarons and see the... Sights. I bought a beret. Like I bought a purple one. Bro, but, child, yeah. that was scary, dude. <laughs> um, oh, I dude. wanted to see the Louvre. We didn't see the Louvre. We took photos you of didn't. the pyramids, and we didn't even go in. And I was like, why didn't we go into the Louvre? And they were saying we're, oh, we're only goodness. here for two days, so uh, that takes like a whole that takes a whole day, and you don't want to lose a day to the Louvre. I was like, I want to lose a day to the Louvre. I don't want to stop. <laughs> so I just spent the whole trip being grumpy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is like. Paris is up there. That was a good trip. I enjoyed I'll go to Paris. Paris is cool. Yo, let's go. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. Let's actually. Yo, yeah, Capcom trip. trip to Paris. <laughs> to Paris. Did yes, you, yes. Wait. So did you go to like the Arc de Triomphe and everything? 
there was like a brigade or whatever like so we got to see her from a distance as well everything was from a distance oh. <laughs> so that's why i want to go back to paris oh we walked up it it was so tiring as like a as a like a 11 year old child <laughs> it's just walking in like a circle because it's like spiral staircases up the for real you can go in yeah what that's like the whole thing and you can go on the why top why was it blocked off there's probably something going on oh my god know. Yeah, yeah, no, but it was really nice. The views. What mm. else? What else in Paris? Oh, f- um, you remember there's a period in time when we were kids where everyone had like the overlay of the the France flag. Yeah. Over there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember what that was for? That terrorist yeah. attack that occurred. Mm-hmm. So pretty much mm-hmm. when I went to Paris, I we were playing it. My brother and um my dad went on a missions trip to Kenya. And then there's Passover was in Paris. So it was like, hey, you're going to be in Paris. We're just going to, me, my mom, my sister would fly over and meet you guys there. And then we just spend like a week there and then we fly back together. So that was the plan. And then the, the, when we get there, we're in the airport meeting my dad and my brother. And then the, on the TV is the news of that terrorist attack that just happened. Yeah. So, um, we weren't like too far, but we weren't like super close to it. Like when I wasn't there, like when it happened, it happened like, it was either the day before or like like earlier in the day that we got there but yeah it was pretty i don't know i feel like i wasn't old enough to comprehend like understand yeah. how people were reacting to it while in the country i was just like ooh french uh let's <laughs> have escargot and stuff and i was just okay. like hey but yeah no that was think, all the that was time that was very very yeah, sad it was scary yeah, I remember, was that, was that like during the Euros? Like the soccer thing? Yeah, it was. I it remember was because Euros, um, right? I got like the soccer ball, one of the soccer balls that. Uh... It was, I think it was like Germany against France. And like, you could like hear, like there was like a, like videos you could hear that were, like the bombing. It was, like, it was really, very really scary. Oh, okay. It now was it's the truck back one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, like drove mm-hmm. the truck into a. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Damn. Um, that's very, very rough. I, 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 I remember what I was gonna say, but I think it's very, very out of place now <laughs> because it's. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Um, moving forward. <laughs> I, 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 I feel bad moving forward. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, random story. Um, to I guess lighten the mood. Um, once I, I was in India, I went to India once. Um, I was really really young. This was like before we were in grade four, like I was in grade two ish, grade three. Um, so I went to India. Um, India was a wild place. Um, it, 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 I, I was too young to actually understand the culture and like understand my parents' culture. Which is why I want to go to India again. I want to actually understand what's going on there. And what my parents grew up with, uh, rather than just be like, "Oh, no Wi-Fi here." Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> but uh, my the place I was at I was at my cousin's house, right? And they had like their house, and then beside their house, they had like this like tower, okay? And you can climb up the stair with like a s- spiral tower, and then you can walk in the room, and there'd just be like this like other house on top of this giant spiral thing. And it was really cool, but it was so scary. Let me tell you why. I was sleeping there. I was sleeping on the floor. Um, and it was myself, my sister, my mom, and my aunt. We were all sleeping on the floor. Because it was being like, it was, it was like a new house. We were still getting everything in there. Um, and I remember I wasn't able to sleep. And for some reason, for some reason, my mom thought it would be a good idea to, you know, instead of like, oh, here's a bedtime story. Oh, things like happy thoughts. She said, if you don't sleep, a man will come, hypnotize you, Tell you to steal your mom's jewelry and then kidnap you. you what? That. Hello? Like, like, I was there. I was, I was terrified, dude. And, like, I asked my sister about this and she remembers this. And then I asked my aunt, the same aunt I was, like, aunt in the same house, the room with. She, apparently she confirmed it. Like, it was a real thing. Like, apparently there was this, this old dude would come and hypnotize kids and kidnap them. What the hell? And I was, it was so scary. Like, it was terrifying. And then, yeah, so that was the way my mom got me to bed. Um, yeah. What is going to sleep have to do with that, though? Like, when you- <laughs> I don't know, dude. 
whoa, I have zero clue. It was the scariest thing ever. Like, as a kid, it actually like traumatized me. Like, I was terrified. Like, like, like the well, day yeah. after. Like, like the day after. Like, <laughs> the day after we were, we were we were gone out, we were like in we were like at this shop area, right? And like every single old dude I'd see, like every old 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 man, <laughs> I pulled my mom a little bit tighter. I was like, she's, she's gonna make me gonna kidnap me, dude. It, it was terrifying. As a, I don't think it's a good idea. If, you, if, if, you, if you're gonna have uh, kids or you have kids, don't tell them that a guy's gonna kidnap them if they don't sleep. Pro- parenting advice from Nauman. Yeah. Don't tell your kids that they're gonna get kidnapped. I feel like that shouldn't have to be said, but you know, just, it's out there. <laughs> Clearly it does. Clearly it does. <laughs> Clearly it does. Anyway, this is bringing back trauma. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Max, what did you say you wanted? Where did you say you wanted to go again? Uh, Japan's there. I want to go to Hong Kong. Yeah, I don't know. I always find myself. What's that one? There's one Asian dude on YouTube that always goes to like the like the Seven Eleven and uh, <gasps> like the oh the gosh, corner yes. stores of places. And their their corner stores are, are so much. Like I would literally go there and just live off of like corner store food because yeah. it's like the quality of food that we get at like certain restaurants here <laughs> it's really fun because like in hong kong they give you a card like the octopus card and it's your like tra- uh, your subway ticket your bus ticket and then you can use it at convenience stores to pay for stuff wow really? so i just filled up that card and i paid it and that was that's cool. sick well, that's cool, i want to go yeah i want to go, go there too Yo, Cap Combo podcast Paris, live recording hong in hong kong yo um, <laughs> Uh, I want to go to South Korea and also I want to go to Australia. I think Australia. I have like yeah. a vision. I have a really stereotypical vision of how Australia, which is not good. I have a vision of like being like placed somewhere in the outback, right? With like with like some sort of like like you know like those like Madagascar, you know like Madagascar two, the cars that they had that the, they're like the tour cars, and then the yeah, old yeah, grandma yeah. kicked the kicked yeah. the hang in the face like that type of car like that open door open roof car oh I have, like, okay, okay okay i have like a vision like, where, a like safari I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah like like i'm in the outback in that car i'm being like chased by like an emu and like a kangaroo <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm driving and that's i have, I have that's my vision um mm. stereotypes portrayed in modern media represented in okay, <laughs> I've idea like, of Australia. they're talking about like the magpie is that like swoop Bro, oh, yeah, I've talked yeah. people. I've talked people in Australia, and they're like, some some of them say like, "Oh yeah, no, it's it's chill, nothing happens here." But others say like, "Oh yeah, there are scorpions in my shoes, dude." Yeah, like, like I have to my shoes for scorpions. That is terrifying, dude. Or like that the is... huge spiders uh-huh. and the lizards. Dude, lizards are cool. I like lizards. Lizards are cute. I don't know, man. If I but still, if there was just like... one crawling on your on your wall and your ceiling, and oh. you're not used to that, I think I think I'd be okay if I saw a lizard. Okay, no, I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I saw okay, if I saw a lizard in my garage, that'd be cool. That's fine. Garage is fine. When your garage, I, of course. Okay, but if I saw a huntsman spider this big size of my face in my garage, I'm leaving. Wait, oh, there's that one photo. Have you seen that? Um, I don't remember what it was. I think it was like cobwebs. Did you see there was a photo and someone and took a picture of like outside of a certain area in Australia and they're like like initially you think it's snowfall and it's like a light no, dusting no, of snow no, over no, it but no. it's just cobwebs on top of everything in the grass and ah, the, ew, that's like some Lord of the Rings like next level <laughs> type of stuff. But it's not like, Australia though. So yeah. Australia is so much fun. Capcom yeah. live recording in Australia in the outback. On a safari <laughs> yeah, truck. Yeah. Safari okay, truck. Japan. Are we out in Japan? Because I think we all want to go to Japan. Japan, Hong Kong, Japan, Hong Kong Yo, Japan South Korea. A, we the, we went to a cup noodle factory and we got to make our own cup noodles, but they put it on display, so I never got to eat mine. Oh, no. What if it's still there? What if it's still, it's there, still there? It is still there. It's in my basement. We have cup noodles in our basement. They're just sitting there. Oh, it's on so, display in your house, not in my house. And they didn't oh, take it. My oh, cup okay, was ugly. Because okay. you got to draw on the cup after. It's, oh, yeah, that's not nice. good. That's scary. <laughs> Put it on the bucket list. Post COVID, we're going crazy. Just saying. Post COVID, bro. We're broke. We are broke. <laughs> Capcom <laughs> worldwide. Yo, we're gonna have to get a sponsor. <laughs> we're gonna have to vlog. We're gonna have to vlog that. If we bro, can. bro, that'd be sick. Imagine the blooper that comes out of that. Imagine the TikToks, dude. That can come out of a Capcom Japan trip. Oh my god. 
The calf, bro, a calf combo Australian trip would yield the best TikToks known to man. Let me tell you, dude. Oh, I already have ideas cooking up in this okay. stew. <laughs> hey, keep him on the DL. Keep him on the DL. We'll write him down and then. Okay, Naman, you were talking about how um your dad bothers you on trips, right? Oh, God. Like, how oh, spontaneous. God. Okay, for me, it's not as bad on the trip because I'm like enjoying the moment and I can get past the fact that my dad's doing certain things. <laughs> okay, but what annoys me the most is like the like the month before you're going on the trip. I don't know if you're if this is like a normal thing that all families do, but for some reason, my parents are just like, okay, guys, so we're pretty much gonna watch every single YouTube video to exist about the places we're going. <laughs> And the tourist attractions. <laughs> so come downstairs, and like we're gonna sit on the couch. Like I'm not kidding. I kid you not. It would be like night after night, just sitting on the couch watching YouTube videos of like, <laughs> like oh, we're going on a cruise next year, guys. So let's, let's sit down and watch like this guy's like 30 minute long video oh of the cruise. Like God, no. uh, this is like this is so it's this guy vlogging with his family, and he's just like got his camera. He's like, so guys, this is like the 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 surfboarding thing. And then if you walk over to this area, there's a zip line. And they're like, okay, so pretty much how it works is the restaurants are here. And these ones you can go to and get food at any time. And then the scheduled meal times. And then we're just sitting there like, <laughs> not like straight up. Like, like no, what happened was I got to a point where I was so mad that we were doing that so much. I literally said, I want to experience the vacation as I get there and not know it. Like it's something that's familiar to me already. I want it mm -hmm. to be like more new. So I can't keep sitting here and watching it because it's just, bo and they're like, but we got to figure out what we want to do. If we want to do go this and go here and go to this. It's like when you get off of the cruise, if you want to go to this. And I was like, you know what? Okay. I'll sit here in silence and just get it over with. <laughs> okay and go but yeah no it's like that getting ready getting ready for going on vacation my parents are like crazy about that so i it guess they're they they enjoy their their itineraries it wasn't that heavy for me like my dad would always be like no I'm play what we're doing i'd be like not really i, I never like i'd be like yeah sure I'll, I'll look up stuff to do in cancun but like but like but like i just never did like, I was like, I, I, I always didn't search up what I wanted to do. No, I was like, okay, let's go there. Um, my, sis my sister did some searching up, and that made me feel a little bit guilty. Because, like, now, oh, your sister's doing it. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, like, my favorite part of, like, that pre-trip moment is, like, I don't know if, if your parents are good with packing, or if you guys' parents are like mine. My parents are amazing at packing. My dad is a fantastic packer. But he does it, like, four hours before the flight dude exactly like this guy this guy yeah. up at 5 a.m pushing stuff in the bag and like and like weighing it and then like we'll be done and then we'll sleep and then we'll wake up and then we'll be like in the middle of the airport taking stuff out and like replacing it like jenga like yeah oh, the box everywhere <laughs> and then like and like we're finally like everything is is, is set not a not a point not a like, not a tenth of a pound over the limit. Always exact. We're not paying a single cent extra. There's no way, no chance we're paying a cent extra, dude. For you, you mean for putting stuff in, like, the, the undercarriage of the... Is that the right... No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Do you know how... Like, baggage claim? Or carry-on? Do you know for baggage You put your baggage thing in, oh, and, yeah, like, if it's like heavier than, like, 24 pounds or something, like, you have to, like, pay mm -hmm. extra? Oh, for not carry-ons. Yeah, no, carry on just oh, okay. the one you have to push on. You have to pick it up from the carousel afterwards. Right? Yeah, yeah, but that part, if it's like a pound heavier, you're paying like I don't know how much more because we never did. Like, like it was always perfect, always either that or exact like point one underneath. My my dad's a very good packer. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, very good. Very annoying. <laughs> Mine is the opposite. My my mom will straight up be like, "Guys, you gotta start packing. You gotta start packing like a week before." And we're like, "I need to wear clothes, <laughs> <Still>. <laughs> so I can't pack everything." But then I'll, I'll pack like say like two nights before, and then pack everything like the other small stuff last minute. And my dad will straight up be like, like the night of, like or the night before, or like the morning of. He'll be like, "Oh, you have like an extra backpack I can use. I can buy a backpack." And I was like, no. "I cannot already backpack it." So like there are times he's like use my old backpacks and or there's some times like he'll use my mom's backpack so he's just walking around with like this purple bag 
<laughs> it's so funny. But it's always last minute. He just like shoves everything he needs no, no, into no. his bag. Did your parents ever do the thing where it's like, hey, give me your bag, and then put some stuff in your bag? And bro, my parents, because I think we all yeah. Bro, we'd always have to like we'd always have to like make our like our, our luggage is like the perfect amount of weight, right? So if there's a little bit extra, then my dad'd be like, please go under the radar, please go under the radar. It didn't right? And like so we'd put it in my bag. I'd be so annoyed, dude. Like, this is my bag. I put my <laughs> singular book, which I'm not gonna read, my iPad, my yeah. charger, all right? I put everything that's mine in here, and now this stupid pack of underwears is in my bag, but I don't wanna be dude, I wanna have my bag. <sighs> Dude, that was that was annoying. That was very annoying. That 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 made me so mad as a kid. Um, one time we went to New York for a funeral, and I for some reason I put all my toys in my luggage and my bag. So my backpack had like toy food, and my luggage had all these princess dolls and stuffed animals. I'm not sure where my clothes went, but that was my <laughs> luggage on the plane. <laughs> Just the bare necessities. <laughs> Just everything you need for a vacation <laughs> and a funeral. <laughs> and a funeral, your doll is in your yeah. play food. Just in case. I was in fifth grade. I was like twelve yeah. or five. Yeah, um, wait, fifth grade is eleven or twelve? Yeah. Uh, New York is something. I went to New York twice. I want to say I think twice. Yeah, twice. Um, <laughs> once we went for Christmas. No, 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 no. Okay, no. What happened was we went after Christmas, right? So, like, the, we did Christmas at home, and then we left, and we got there with the plans of staying for New, for New Year's and New Year's in New York. The day of New Year's, it's, like, New Year's Eve, like, 31st, we're like, no, nah, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, we reach home, like, an hour before New Year's. We go to a family friend's house, and we're just chilling there. But New York is, oh, New York is something. New York is, New York is, like downtown toronto but like but like their older distant cousin in like a really in, in a bad way what i mean like, <laughs> like no but in a, in a good way okay what i mean is like you know you go to like you go to like family events right it's and there's like that older, older the that older, older cousin sibling like, or the older cousin that's I cooler a little bit like cool a little bit but very also, similar cooler like similar but also doesn't help like a lot of drugs Never mind, also, I'm not yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like New York is just like wow. It's like Toronto it's bright. on bright, it's like bright. Toronto <laughs> on crack, basically. Like okay, it's yeah. like it, it's like all oh, the subways are Toronto on crack. The billboards are Toronto on crack. The streets are Toronto on yeah, crack. Yeah, square. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, but like times a hundred. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's, it's crazy. But the food there is amazing. Mm. That's where uh, I have my first shake, the steak and steak and shake. Yeah, that's where I have my first one. The pizza there is oh, dude, legendary, A tier pizza, S tier pizza. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, uh, but yeah, no, New York is all. Yeah, New York was a place. We were like the thirty first. We're like, this is not gonna happen. This is, oh. There's no way. Unless you missed the possibly one of the last recent modern like. I think the that all gathering, I think uh, gathering Times Square, the ball drop. I'm trying to remember. I'm Ninja pretty sure. Flossin. No, 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 I'll, I'll just say I'm pretty sure that was the year Ninja was <laughs> yeah. flossing. No way. That, that was it the was. year Ninja was like, No one um, did it. I don't see enough movement and flossing everywhere and no one's doing it. That's what caused the pandemic. I'm going to be real. No one flossing. <laughs> the no one flossing. <laughs> the downfall. Everything went down. Everything went downhill <laughs> since Ninja tried to floss in front of a million people and no one did it. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I feel like we're about to wrap up the episode, but I just want to bring up one more thing. You know, going to the airport at like 5 a.m. and it's dark out. That hits different. Yeah. I just want to say that. I miss that. Oh, oh, I don't know if you guys have... This is a very niche moment, but like... <laughs> When you arrive at the other airport, like I went to, as I said earlier, I went to Mexico, like Cancun. Um, arriving at the airport, it was fully dark outside. I felt so cool because I'm like, I, and then, like, as I said, I was still in my airport drip, right? And I, I just felt like I have this, 
I'm walking with my luggage. I've got my my earbuds in. <laughs> um, I've got my luggage, and I felt so cool. Literally, it was it was. I was just a kid with the luggage, but I, like 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 everyone has their luggage on them. But I felt so cool, dude. I had my pillow, I had my luggage, I had my earbuds, I had my windbreaker. Oh. Ready for the rugby team? Reminiscing, dude. That you're was- walking. You're walking in the tunnel. Going to the airport off the plane with your like, you're like yes, you're, yes. You're like where are the where are the photographers, bro? Where's like like some oh. like NBA like players <laughs> right? and came in the other city and there's like oh like the like that like the weird like flat escalator thing the oh camera yeah, yeah, the, bro I, out I, the window at all the planes oh, I, was, and, like, I was so I annoying I, I would like walk backwards on that I was just so I was such a kid I hit myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I but I, but I feel like I like every time I'd walk like forward on that I feel like the flash because like you got like your speed plus the like momentum of the relative velocity relative velocity calculate F, the F calculate that equals M A F the force of friction minus. okay thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs> um, but I feel I felt so fast dude like for some person beside me I boom zoom past them <laughs> my earbuds windbreaker luggage oh my god it's a perfect con- that and speed i felt i felt like on, i felt like a like a professional sports player okay so anyway. on that note, <laughs> thank tuning you guys in. for tuning into another cafeteria conversations rant we'll see you guys next week with another main episode we hope you enjoyed and we hope you stick around for future episodes make sure to check us out on youtube if you're watching on youtube Hit that subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell if you want. We have weekly uploads. And if you're listening on Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, or any other podcasting platforms, make sure to hit that follow and follow our Instagram at the Camp Convos Podcast and on TikTok because we make TikToks now. We make TikToks. We have been making TikToks. I don't know why I keep see- I always, uh, in outros, I always like, new, new, make TikToks. We've been making TikToks. Follow our TikTok right now. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good Thank night. Thank you. Bye.